Welcome to another video. I haven't put my microphone on. Oh fuck. It's got it's, the, the magnets going under the un, 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 under the oven. Hang on. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Right. From my failed bread yeast super yeast experiment, I have got. I put yeast into a original gravity of 1.138 very high sugar solution now after a month <clears throat> it stalled it got to about 13% and it stopped so and this is really going to be a quick video I, n no lies now this is going to be a quick video unless I drink loads So what I got here is the Lees. It's been sat for a few days as well and didn't even have a lid on it. So I'd be surprised what's gonna happen with this one. It's, it's just this is just one of those off-the-cuff experiments. <laughs> Smells like booze. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna use the Lees from what could is possibly a dead or dormant yeast. Now, <clears throat> this yeast has gone to its limits. It fermented sugar in such a high sugar concentration and it stalled and it stalled and the final gravity was 1.032. So still quite a high sugar. So is it dead? Is it dormant? I don't know. We're going to stick her in here and we're going to see if he eats, eats some more sugar. First of all, we need to put a bit of sugar in here. I'm just going to put 100 grams. That's one cup. In here. That's half a cup. Did I say one cup? That's half a cup, 100 grams. Guys, cheers everybody. Just just be ten seconds now shaking this up. You know how it goes. If 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 you follow me, if you follow me, you've probably seen me do a lot of this type of shaking. I can do both hands, guys. Both hands, I can do both hands. I can do fucking two hands if you want me to. Yeah. Oh, the table's in the way. It looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Gonna get this fucking shook up like that. It's all right. Do, do you know what? I don't even care if it's dissolved. All I care... Th there was enough sugar in there anyway to make a cider strength. But what I'm gonna do... If I haven't said five times already, I'm gonna chuck this in there. I'm going to wait. I just, I've put sh more sugar in there. Because I, you know, I want it 10, 12%. So. Got my. On my happy face. Yeah. I'm going to mix up the lees and the little bit of juice that was left. Now, guys, this has been sat for about three days on its own without... Well, for about two days without anything on the lid. So, acetobacter, any little beastie, anything could have got in there. I don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. So that's nice and fluffled, fluffled, lumpy. It's lumpy. Happy days. Nice lumpy juice. I underestimated this. 
I underestimated how much was going to go in there. But who gives a shit? Huh? Life is short, guys. Life is short. And this is definitely... If fermentation kicks off, this is definitely going to bubble up through the balloon. I, you know, I don't... I can't... That's a nice sound. That's a nice sound. Huh? Um, but I don't care. Do you know what? Life is so short, guys. Oh, all in trouble. There's a hole. I've just made a hole. <laughs> I swear I haven't been drinking too much. Right. Guys, we're going to see if this ferments. Is the yeast dead? Is it dormant and it's going to get revitalized? Is it vampire yeast? Do you know what I mean? I'll see you when it's done. Right, guys, it's been 15 days. What do you think's happened to this orange juice? I mean, I don't know yet. We're going to find out together. Um, but first of all, let's see what one of the leading brewing channels has to say about yeast death after it's been introduced to a too high a sugar, which this stalled. Let's listen to this a minute. But let's just say, for, in for instance, you had too much sugar and it stalled far below the tolerance of your yeast. That means yeast death. Your yeast are dead. My yeast are dead, apparently. Right, well, have a look at this. Okay guys, this is morning five on the uh, zombie experiment. But um, this is the fifth morning, so look what's happened. Can't believe it. Guys, it's taken five days. It's hard to see bubbles, but I can hear them. Guys, it's going. It's fermenting. And uh, let's see what's happened here. So I'm just going to siphon this off into this. Now, like I said, 15 days, plenty of time to do what I needed to do if it's alive. Let's get this sweet juice in here. Guys. By the way, if you know that channel, if you know that channel who I just uh, brought up, they blocked me. <laughs> they've, they've hidden me from their channel. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying, uh, makes me mad, man. I was talking to him and then I think they realized who I was and they blocked my bloody, they blocked me. Huh? Dirty, dirty tactics. But I don't mind, I don't mind too much. I'll still watch them. I like their content, that's all that matters. You know, it's their prerogative. They can do what they want, that's fine. I'm just, you know, I'm a bit miffed. I thought brewers would help brewers and this and that. Guys in this world, don't take nothing for granted. It's just, you know, it was a shock. I'll tell you that. If I was nasty or being a prick, I'd understand, but absolutely not. But make up your own minds. I, I'm, I'm not here to, to throw stones. I live in a glass house. <laughs> right, I'll do, I'll do. That's enough. I mean, I don't even know if this is fermented out. Who knows? That's why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing this. Guys, 33 degrees today. I've been driving around in my car doing bloody Uber Eats for about six hours before this. Oh, this. is a lifesaver.
How you doing? Did it ferment? Did my dead yeast ferment? <sighs> we'll see. Oh, it fermented. You need to see this. Guys, look at that. It went all the way to 0 0.990. Now, if that's not fermented, I don't know what is. So there we have it. Apparently, my dead yeast zombified. They come back from the dead. They're dead, apparently, and uh, started munching again. The all important. Guys, I don't know how strong this is because I only, I didn't take the gravity reading at the beginning because, well, why would I? Um, but what I do know is it's probably about 12%. Between 11 and 13%, that's what this is. Smells like a fermented orange. Guys, it's nice. I don't know why people don't like it. There's nothing wrong with this. Mmm, you got a booze. You a very orange taste. The warmth. There we have it. Guys. My, my, my quest for a super yeast is back on. Now, I'll give you a reasoning for this. I used the yeast that stalled in a high concentration sugar. So, what happened is maybe the weak yeast died but the yeast that had sort of evolved a little bit to, 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 to be a bit more of a super yeast that, that's why it took four or five days for fermentation to start again so I've built a colony of the stronger, the Spartans I've built a colony of Spartan yeast because the weak died off and the Leonidas reigned, triumphanted, tr 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 elephant, but you know what I mean. So now I'm going to use this yeast in a decently high concentrate and then I'm going to step feed it. Meaning once it's gone dry, I'm going to feed it a bit more sugar. Once it's gone dry, I'll feed it a bit more sugar. Once it's gone dry, I'll feed it a bit more sugar. Guys, and I'll keep on going until, until I found exactly how high this yeast can go, rather than chuck it all into a huge sugar solution. So there we have it, guys. This is exciting. The super yeast saga continues. Yes. Uh, I'll put this in the super yeast playlist i think it's called generational playlist and it continues until i fail i'm gonna keep going uh cheers city steeding brews block me off both your channels <laughs> <laughs> guys who like this check this one and this one and then this one and then this one and if you like the video subscribe i'm not sure which side it is subscribe might be up there down there i don't know whatever yeah nice one thank you bye